Bell, the world's most recognized commercial helicopter manufacturer, has developed a new combat helicopter that will compete with the Sikorsky Raider X. The first prototype of the Bell 360 Invictus, which means unconquerable in Latin, was recently shown. After engine development, the helicopter is ready for testing. The Invictus is a conventional helicopter with fast speed and low cost that was initially introduced in 2019. The helicopter, like many modern attack helicopters, has a tandem seat structure. The design is similar to the Tiger helicopter from Airbus and the light combat helicopter from Indian HAL however, the Bell has an unusual design with a low radar cross-section area, which is not the primary design aim for Bell. It has 40-foot diameter rotor blades, an active horizontal stabilizer, and a slanted and shrouded tail rotor positioned below the shrouded rotor hub. The aircraft appears aerodynamic, and the rotator is covered for improved airflow around the spin. The rotor diameter is determined by U.S. Army specifications, which specify the maximum diameter for FARA contenders in order for the rotorcraft to fit between buildings on future battlefields. The Bell helicopter prototype currently lacks a functional engine. However, the General Electric T901 engine will be installed shortly. Following the construction of the engine, this helicopter will be tested at a speed of 180 knots, or 330 kilometers per hour. Pratt & Whitney also manufactures the auxiliary power unit system for this helicopters. It can be used as a backup power source for the systems. This helicopter will be outfitted with advanced armaments such as the M114 Hellfire, M179, jam missiles, of the XM915 20mm auto gun, and two launchers with four missiles. The US Army requires a cruising speed of more than 330 km per hour, which the 360 is designed to meet. The 525 rotor system has been tested to achieve 370 km per hour. At moderate to high speeds, the stub wings are designed to create lift equivalent to around 50% of the aircraft's weight. With at least 90 minutes on station, the combat radius will be 250 km. Fly-by-wire control system will be used for this helicopter. Please share your thoughts on this helicopter in the comments section. If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.